Howdy there! This is Mikey here in Lola, the big blue van, and I'm going to be answering some questions for y'all um, that you so nicely presented to me. Um, so let's just get started. Okay, let's get cracking with the first question. Bathroom, toilet, and shower. How do I get all that done? All right, so I live very close to campus, and I have a gym access and full showers, has like a sauna. Um, it's really nice. Um, so I take my showers there. And as far as going to the bathroom, um, I have my ways of doing it in the van. I'm sure you can imagine how you do that. Um, but I have built in a system here, uh, which I will show in a later video. And as far as taking a solid, um, yeah, you just go into a public restroom. They are literally everywhere. And there's a 7-Eleven really close to where I park. So if there's an emergency, that's the place to go. <laughs> Next question. All right, question number two. Parking, where do I park? Is it a challenge? When I first started out van lifing, yes, it was a challenge, but you learn to see all the places and look at all the street signs that say no parking from 2 a.m. to 6 a.m. So you have to be looking out for those. Now it's not a problem. I found a few places that allow free overnight parking and it's it's been really nice not having to worry about it anymore. Third question, did you build it yourself? Meaning the van. Yes, I did. Everything you see was built by me and I'm proud of it. I think I did an okay job. And I do plan on doing a video specifically on how I built everything in here. Fourth question is how long did it take to build the van? Um, for me, it took a summer of working full time at my job. I was working at Costco at the time and also building this in any spare moment I had. I had no social life while building this van. If I were to build it consecutively day after day, it would take about a month of solid work day after day, this being my full-time job. It just takes time and it just takes patience. Next question. All right, the fifth question is, what's the year make and model? The year is a 2006 Dodge Sprinter, uh, 190,000 miles on it. Uh, it's quite a bit of miles, but also uh, being in college, I'm not gonna be driving around a ton. I'm just gonna be near and around campus so I don't really have to worry about the mileage all that much just when I'm going back home from school. It's been a great van so far. I haven't noticed any problems with it. <laughs> Fingers crossed there won't be any knock on wood. Um, Lola was a company van uh, and she was for all of the duration that she was owned before me. Next question. All right, so the next question is what I do about food. The campus that I live on, they offer a housing and food bundle deal that costs an absurd amount of money that I am bypassing by living in a van. I like to cook. For me, cooking now, it's just what I do for most meals. I have plenty of canned food storage in the van, and um, whenever I want fresh produce or meats or anything like that, I just go to the grocery store, stock up, and I'm good for the next couple weeks, sometimes even three weeks, and I just cook my meals. Let's go to the next question. Alrighty, so this next question, um, is an interesting one. It's a good question. What do my friends in college think of my van? When you tell anybody that you live in a van, their first reaction is, oh, you have some sort of futon mattress in the back of a van. No, and if they have that look on their face and a little bit confused, I'm trying to make a good impression here, I'll take out my phone and show them a picture. Yes, this is, this is the van. Um, and they understand a little bit more after that. Maybe they've even heard of it, uh, van lifing in general. But for the most part, people think it's a pretty cool idea that I live in a van, especially when they find out that I'm saving a whole lot of money by doing it. Next question. So this next question pertains to my van tour, which I'll link in the description down below. Um, why don't I have a table or a desk or a workplace, especially while I'm in school? Well, that's simple. I found that while I'm doing homework, I never use a table. And I don't sit down at a table to eat. And when I do, it's very rare. And it's when I'm at a decent restaurant. Um, I'm always sitting down on a couch or I'm laid out on a bed 
with all my homework in front of me on my computer, working, sitting down. And so I didn't find much of a use or reason to put a table in here, especially with those ones that swivel and you have to take off the pipe and then take it off the, it's, it's a mess and it's, I wouldn't know where to put it. It's just some sort of clutter that I would probably never use. That's a good question. Next one. All right, so this question actually pertains a little bit to me and who I am. Obviously, my name is Mikey. I live in a big blue van. I'm going to school for musical theater and I'll also be going for a secondary degree of sign language interpreting. Those are both two passions of mine. I found the best way to see them out was to be going to school and the cheapest way to do that, well, live in a van. Next question. All right, so this last question actually asks, how long am I gonna be doing van life? That's not exactly clear to even me. I know I'm gonna be doing it through college, but after college, I'm not exactly sure. I have a bit of a scheme to sell the van and build a tiny house on some land in Montana, but I'm excited to see what the future brings and what can come of this lifestyle that I'm living right now. That's the end of the questions that you guys gave me. Uh, thank you so much. If you have any more, uh, please let me know. My next video I'm planning on showing you exactly how I built the van, how everything came together, what the planning process was like. Of course, if you liked the video, thumbsing up and sharing it wouldn't be a bad thing. Um, also, if you like this sort of content, don't forget to subscribe. It helps me out. It helps you out by sharing with you some content that you might enjoy. Regardless of the choices you make after this video, thank you for watching. And as always, please have a wonderful day.